Welcome back. You're watching the Diary of a Dog Walker provided by Crichton Pet Services. And I'm Stephen Crichton and you join us on Thursday the 6th of April 2023 on my morning walk with the little dogs. If you're familiar with the channel, you know that in the morning we have no big dogs. If you're not familiar with the channel, just give me 10 seconds to explain what I do. So I'm a professional dog walker based in Edinburgh in Scotland and I look after people's dogs while they are out of work or otherwise indisposed and um, we are in Scotland you're allowed to walk dogs off the leash wherever we take them as long as they're deemed to be under control and well behaved and things like that and that is exactly what we have so we have Otis our border terrier he's going to come into play later on so pay attention to him we've got Elsa our working cocker Charlie our West Highland Terrier Ruby our beagle Barney are Shih Tzu and Rua and Nell are both cockapoos aren't we guys yes so that's my gang and uh, I'm going to show you the highlights of our walk as we go around as I do every single week but today I've got a little bit of a story in the middle of our uh, walk which just explains the the uh, the sort of origins of the tale of Greyfriars Bobby and uh, if you're not familiar with that then you're gonna to have to stay till there at least until about halfway through because that's when i explain it so i'm gonna hand you over to the dogs now i'll be back at that point to explain about greyfriars and i'll be back at the end to recap our day until then have fun watching these guys do what they do <whistles> hello gang good boy good boy good you guys Excuse me, no barking. Thank you. We all good? We all good? We're going to see. <laughs> Just falling in a hole. Trying to film you donuts. Oh, Tess. Come on, buddy. Why do you keep hanging back? Right, it's first to respond. Up! Good Otis, good Elsa, good Barney. He's going up. Up! Good Elsa, good Ruby, good Drew, good Charlie. Now, up! Oh, come on, sweetheart, you can get up there. Up! Come on! Good girl. Look at you guys. Look at you guys. Well done. Well done. Good. Good job. Good job. It's just my turn. Sorry, Rua. One in. Let's see. Did you guys? Problem solving 101. What's wrong? Hmm. 
on this muddy path. Any white dogs, please stay white. Ruby, Barney, Charlie, Rua, you've all got white on you. We're just going to wait till these guys pass us. Thank you. Good. Barney, thank you. Good job. Good boy. Come on, OT. Why are you always at the back, Buster? Look at this day, Elsa. Wow. It's good, isn't it? There's a couple up ahead with a husky and a couple of uh, doodles and we're just letting them get a little bit of distance because the husky's on the lead and uh, has turned to us a few times and tried to pull back in our direction so we'll just give them a bit of space and we're quite happy doing that just now you can Here you go <laughs> You're now the king dog because you've peed from the highest point Up. And you're, now you're on the highest point buddy, good boy Good boy <laughs> Sit nice, sit Otis, sit Good boy. Oh, Rua, are you going to join him? He's barking at me, thank you. What is you are the real Greyfriars, Bobby. Yeah, do we know this story, gang? Will we tell the stories at story time? Go on now, let's tell a story. As if by magic, that was a little Sky Terrier. Right, let's tell this story about Greyfriars, Bobby. Rua, come on, sweetheart. Let's tell the story. <laughs> right, so feel free to fact check me on any of this because there's a bit of speculation about a few of the points but Greyfriars Bobby um, is probably best known as a, as a, well at the moment anyway, a statue in the old town uh, in Edinburgh and uh, it's a picture of a Sky Terrier, uh, the dog that we've just passed which is uh, quite interesting. Now on the actual statue itself, the statue looks very like a Border Terrier, you could be easily mistaken for it being a little Otis or an Alfie or a Biscuit or a Juno, isn't that right buddy? But um, yeah, a Sky Terrier is what uh, I think it go it's gone down in history as, is, is our Bobby and um, he is said to have been owned by a guy called John Gray, I think is his name. And John was a policeman, or a night watchman as they were known back then. And effectively, uh, he died. And it's said that the dog, who was young at the time when he died, um, just spent his days lying on his grave. Um, and did this for sort of 14 years so didn't leave his gravesite the, for the rest of his life basically and people would come and feed Bobby and he was a kind of a bit of a local celebrity and all this kind of thing and uh, and then a few years after Bobby sadly passed on and was buried in the same graveyard um, there was a philanthropist a, I can't even say that a philanthropist who um, sorry I'm getting a poo bag out while I'm telling this who then erected a statue, in it, which is the one in the old town now, and you can go and, uh, you know, it's apparently good luck to touch Bobby's nose, but it's now, this black statue is now all rubbed away and he's got this brass nose sh uh, showing, so you're actually encouraged not to touch it. But uh, yeah, that's the story of uh, Great Fires Bobby. If you're ever in Edinburgh, it's definitely worth going and getting a photo with this and go and have a look at the, the graveyard. And there's a little funny, just before I pick up Nails Poo here, there's a little funny um, sort of anecdote that I noticed the last time I was up there. So on, this, on the gate of the graveyard, there's a sign that says no dogs. <laughs> I think that's funny. <laughs> Well, we have another wee play with the buddy. Do you want to I'd put you on because of that Sky Terrier? I forgot to take you back off. Sorry, kid. Sorry, kid. Well, okay. Come on, let's have another run. Let's have some zoomies, Charlie. Let's see if I can't get Charlie to do his zoomies. Charlie. Let's go have a pee. Charlie, what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's go. All right, Ashley's just signing off, just putting away my leaves and tidying up a little bit. The dogs are safely secured in the van. Thank you very much, Trans K9. We always like to thank them when we can. And uh, yeah, we've had a good day. We've had a 
pretty good uh, morning if I'm being honest, nice and uh, under control, no drama and uh, just a little story in the middle so hopefully you've enjoyed that. Um, I can't say that I'm going to tell a historical story every single time that I'm out with the dogs but what I can promise you is that these guys are going to be on great form every time that you join us so we encourage you to subscribe to the channel and uh, you'll see more of them and less of me yapping to be honest but uh, every now and again I come up with something maybe a little bit interesting or, or fun or educational or I don't know, random. What will we say? So without uh, any more delay I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate the views and uh, from these guys we're going to say goodbye. Bye bye.